fun. Whether you just had your 21st birthday or maybe it's your first time partying in Las Vegas, we are here to give you all the tips and tricks to have a successful and fun time in Las Vegas. Even if you're just 21 in spirit. Norma, you're not 21. I mean, I know I'm not, but I still live like I am. Uh, you're still not 21. Tim, will you? Okay. Okay, he's right. I'm not 21, but I decided to bring someone who is. That's right. <laughs> Okay, she's actually 22, but for the sake of this video, let's say she's 21. Okay guys, so this is Anna, and she's a huge TikToker, YouTuber, and Instagrammer, and she happens to have lived here in Las Vegas her whole life. Okay, I'm ready. And I know what you guys might be thinking, and yes, she is half Mexican. And I'm not a natural redhead. <laughs> so let's party and turn 21 in style. They will card everybody. Doesn't matter if you're 100 years old, they will card you, so bring your ID. Where did you have your first drink after turning 21? Me and my friends, we actually went to Golden Tiki Bar down in Chinatown. What it was, I do not remember, but that's how you know it was a good 21st. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a lot cooler than mine. Uh, mine was a Long Island iced tea at a claim jumpers. Honestly, so sad. <laughs> top tier. Now I do think that you should do something really special for your first drink after turning 21. So I think this is a perfect place to do that. So we just got two very beautiful drinks right here that we're gonna celebrate for her first drink as turning 21. Absolutely. So, you know, it, I didn't exactly know much about drinks when I turned 21, but I mean, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> so this drink right here is the Skyline. And then mine was really cool. This one looks like it has champagne and then it has a little egg white right here at the top. Very your foamy. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Ooh, I like that. It tastes like Christmas. <laughs> Mine's actually really fruity. I think this is something you might like better. Oh, girl, this is a grown-up drink. <laughs> Doesn't that taste nice though? This one is, this is the girl's best friend yeah. <laughs> for a reason. I feel like when you first start drinking, like you tend to go towards the sweeter things. Later yeah. on, you'll kind of get into some, some harsh stuff like this. It's okay though, because here at Legacy Club, they have so many different drinks. I mean, just tell them what you like and you'll even kind of custom create your own drink sometimes. But yeah, again, the reason we're here at Legacy Club is you know we you have to do your first drink right. I mean this is amazing right here in downtown. We're at a hotel that you have to be 21 to even walk in. We're on the 60th floor right now. You're seeing the entire city. Like that's you can't compare it. It's like you're in New York, but you're in Las Vegas. <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean you can either see the sights from either on the inside or you can go outside, which I think we should do. Let's go outside. Yeah, let's Check go outside. Out. Dude, and look, you can see the whole strip from right here. It's gorgeous. Sam, wouldn't you think that like having your first drink here would be like really memorable? Hold on, let me tell you in a second. <laughs> yeah, that's memorable. <laughs> Cheers to your first drink. Cheers. <laughs> It's a brand new day. Okay guys, so for this next point, we do have to walk into the Las Vegas store to buy something really quick. Watch out. So this is something that a lot of people like to get and there's the birthday girl sash and some sort of tiara or something. <laughs> now the debate is to wear or not to wear. Here's my personal opinion. I'm not really about it just because- We got against the sash. <laughs> I don't like it because it's like very attention grabbing and if you like attention then that's great but I personally don't. However though, sometimes the attention can be good because let's just say if you go to a bar and you know the bartender notices that it's your birthday or sometimes you'll be out in the street and people will see it and then they're having a good time so they like all of a sudden want to buy you a shot or again like with the bartender they'll, they'll you know they might give you a little bit more or also let's just say if you're like at the Magic Mike show or Chippendales if they see you with all this they are more likely to pick on you if you want that great 
And that big mic, I would want it. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I know when I was 21, I did not have like any money. Oh, though. honey, I was broke. <laughs> so when you do come to Las Vegas, definitely save up for your drink. I would actually say like almost even budget. Here, drinks can get really expensive. Like on the low end, like the lowest drink I've ever seen in Vegas is like $3. High end, thirty dollars. Like those drinks over, like at Vanderpump, are not cheap. Super cute, but they are not cheap. Nope. And even for example, like these daiquiri bars right here, those can get really expensive really quick. Like one of the really big yardsticks, you're already paying like almost thirty dollars. Now I do have a whole video on the cheapest drinks here in Las Vegas, but just some of the examples would be like going to Ocean One, which is inside of the Planet Hollywood. They have a special that is twelve dollars for three drinks, and you can like mix and match. It doesn't necessarily have to be like all margaritas all like you, you can try the world's your oyster <laughs> <laughs> or something that you can definitely do is go to the convenience store so kind of like CBS Walgreens. Walgreens the ABC stores and you'll get like a beer there for like four dollars which is something we're gonna go do right now So we got two huge beers for only $8.65. Two. And this is like a bit, a big one. Like probably, you would, I feel like you would get half of this for $8. And we got, we got this quadruple the amount for $8. We got and a we four did, arms length. And we didn't have to tip. Cheers. So next up, we're gonna talk about getting a budget hotel. The more cheaper ones are gonna be like the Excalibur, Luxor, Circus Circus, Rio. Get a hotel that is clean, because here's the thing, you're gonna be traveling, you're gonna be walking the strip, the hotels where you crash. Now a budget hotel that I personally really like, it's not like all the way at the low end and it's not the high end. I really like the Park MGM. It was just remodeled to become the Park MGM not too long ago from the Monte Carlo. So everything is like refurbished. The rooms are like really simple. They're really clean. They're really nice. And they're more like on the budget side, even though it doesn't seem like it. And it's right in the middle of things like Italy, where you can go eat a lot. Yeah, you have like the Paris, the Cosmopolitan, Aria. So, you know, if you're going to be having a few, you don't have to walk too far back to your hotel. So some tips that I would say to do is definitely book in advance because that's when rooms are cheaper. And then also, even though you just booked your room, keep checking the rates because once in a while prices will go down. So if they do go down, then just call that hotel, let them know, hey, I see the price went down. Can we match it? However, though, you do have to go through the hotel directly. You can't like go through like Expedia or anything like that. So next thing we're going to talk about gambling. <laughs> so you're finally 21. You can finally pull the lever or, you know, press the buttons on this bad boy right here. But you gotta be careful. Definitely only put as much as you're willing to lose. <laughs> yeah, these machines right here, like you can sit here and without noticing, you'll like spend more than you thought you were gonna spend. I don't gamble, but I'm gonna say you can lose 20 bucks in like six spins. Oh, 100%. Maybe, I don't even know. I won maybe $50 off of blackjack. That too, the same thing with the table games. I mean, I would say just know what you're doing before you sit down at a table game. Go with some who knows what they're doing they can teach you how to do it then it can be fun but it's everyone's preference the waitresses are gonna be bringing about well not this but they'll be bringing around drinks. drinks so that way you can gamble more so I know you're gonna say like oh I'm gonna gamble because I'm gonna get free drink well guess what that free drink smaller than this now costs you 40 bucks then you're in this vicious cycle that you just can't gamble your way out of so just be smart about it let's keep it going Next, we're here at downtown Las Vegas. So earlier we were talking about drinking and we were talking about budgeting. So we're here at a place that you can kind of combine the both. I think that this is a great place to do some bar hoppy here on Fremont East. I like coming here because they're all next to each other so they are walking distance and you don't have to worry about having to drive in a car. So we're gonna give you some tips because a lot can go wrong pretty fast. <laughs> so the first tip I would say is do not mix your alcohol. It's just not a good thing to do. And personally, I've had some of the worst hangovers the next day because I mixed. Like it was 
just not a good idea. I know, you know, once you turn 21, you just want to try all the drinks. We want you to be safe and do it right. And another thing, pace yourself and drink water. Every time you have a drink, also have a drink of water. That's going to help pace yourself a lot better. That's a rule of thumb that I learned the hard way. Another basic rule is to go with th at least three people. When you have three people, you're more likely to stay together and more likely less people will come to you. Which speaking of, yes, cover your drink. Like never leave your drink just sitting down because someone can easily put something in there. Keep your drinks close to your heart. And don't let anybody just hand you a drink that you know you don't know, you don't trust. And then this was something that I didn't think of and I'm really glad that you brought it up. Bring a hair tie, or in my case what I'm wearing right now, a clip. <laughs> That way, in case you know the night doesn't go the way that you really thought and you at least have something to hold your hair up in the process. So now that we got some bases covered, I think it's time to go check out some bars. Here at Free Money's. You ready to get sexy, Anna? I thought we already are, but I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now we're here at my bathroom because uh, we're gonna actually have a night out on the strip, but we're gonna do it like in a 21st birthday style. Exactly, so lots of glitter. <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> it sparkles, it's 21, it screams, it's my birthday. This is a very, very 21st type of vibe. Yeah, black is actually really good for the club because, you know, just in case if someone spills their drink on you, um, it's not gonna show. So for sake of a 21st birthday celebration, I think, we should probably go with the pink. Pink is a girl's best friend. We're also gonna give you some tips on how to survive the night, you know, the nightlife here in Las Vegas. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'm gonna talk about what happens if you get hung over. You have a few different options. Um, if you do have money, I mean, you can get like those IV drips. Uh, like, I think that you can either go to them directly or I think some of them, they can even come to you. Yeah, it's like, I think they just like inject you and you have like a bag of saline water just going into you. You also can do the liquid IV packages or anything that's kind of like a, uh, like a hangover prevention. I think those liquid IVs you can buy them pretty much anywhere. And that's supposed to like help because you're getting like electrolytes back in your system and mm -hmm. that's, that's good stuff. stuff. So first of all, if you are gonna wear a purse, my thing would be wear a crossbody because I, I feel like it's the safest. And in case if anybody does try to like snatch it or something, like, you know, they're gonna bring you with it. So just to kind of show you guys uh, what my purse is gonna look like today. My keys, hairbrush is okay. <laughs> hand sanitizer, my chapstick, my ID and credit card. Do not forget that because you will need it. They won't card you even if you're 100 years old. So yeah, that's, that's really all you need. Very basic. Now, anytime you are gonna go to the club, um, if you just wanna go in through guest list line, make sure you always go through a promoter. So you'll either see them out on the street or I also did a whole video about nightclubs. So I do have some promoters on there that you can talk to. But yeah, they'll always tell you like what time you have to get in there by. Like if you are a guy and you wanna get in for free, like how many girls you need in order to get in for free. Or also if you do kinda want like your own private area, then you can definitely buy a table. And for girls that wanna look a little more fancy or cute, you can wear, I recommend wearing wedges. Those are the most comfy and yet still give you some height. You can also find if in the middle of the night your feet start to hurt and you wear nice high heels, they have these nice vending machines and they give you flats. You have to pay for them obviously, but they're just foldable flats that you just slip onto your feet and you can just carry your heels. And another one that a lot of people my age tend to forget, remember to eat before you drink. Speaking of food, that's what we're actually about to go do right now. We got change. We can, this is not acceptable. <laughs> Look at us. I like to think that uh, I think we're ready to go out on the town. Let's go. 
Let's go get you a dinner you'll never forget. Have you ever been to Super Freak Out? I haven't, but I've heard really good things. This place is freaking awesome. I actually showed this spot in my 24 Hours at the Cosmopolitan video. And this place is wild because some of the cast from the OPM show will come in and they'll do their performances here. And uh, OPM is not exactly a kid's show, let's just say that. So it's going to get a little naughty at times. <laughs> Spicy one first. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, that, that has like a nice heat. It's really right? nice. Oh, it's light, but it still tastes like a meaty pizza. Let's try the cheese. We said we we're gonna we're try going. every single one. We, we absolutely are. are. It almost kind of reminds me of like cornbread, but like with cheese on it. And of course, we gotta try one of the crazier ones. So this is gonna be their mortadella pizza. Like this one's very fragrant. Wow. Wouldn't you say this is like the perfect place to celebrate for dinner? Okay, now that we're nice and full, let's go party! Anna, are you ready to get crazy tonight? Are you? Oh my god, yes! Dang, it's already popping here, so we need to get in like right now. Oh, and uh, we're, we're club ready. special for your first 20, what would you call it? Your actual first drink ever, right? 
Yeah, if my mom's watching, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this drink right here is the Skyline, and that one has Rittenhouse, Agua um, Buran. <laughs> We did it again. Okay, so for this next point, we do have to walk into the Las Vegas sign just for a quick second. Did I say sign? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, do not shake it. Hello. <laughs> <No. laughs> you 21 year olds. I'm just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> How long does it take to How open? How many <laughs> girls does it take to open a beer? There you go. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot do that. Local favorite is a. <laughs> Sorry, you're good. Be very aware of your. What you're doing. No, so I'm gonna say it again. Be mindful. Wait, your <laughs> the bottle's covering your face. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, go. You have to like close my garage to a garage. <laughs> close the garage. To you have to close it. my closet <laughs> to get in. What, what does it do? I just know it helps absorb it as much and... Damn, that's as far as my science goes. <laughs> <laughs>